Okay, so um, part three. Um, what did I answer so far? Oh, a lot of you guys were asking, uh, like if we were allowed to draw in our own styles, and yes, there are. We were allowed to draw in our own styles, and when we did work on our own um storyboards for our comic, like were we allowed to work on our own storyboards? Yes. Um, however, there was also a lot of um. Why is it every time I make a video you poop? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, like you to um get used to the tools that we were um being trained to use, we had to uh like duplicate a lot of already draw already published professional manga pages. But just because we pre-produced them doesn't mean that there's a passive understanding that like it, we were just doing it just for practice and it wasn't to show other people or post on the internet saying like, oh, look, we did this and stuff. So, um, yeah, we did that a lot. But when we were worked on our own storyboards and our own comic uh, material, we could do it about anything, basically. There was a lot of um, people in class, actually, that um, did their stories about, like, even boys' love. Like, I think I was the only girl, like, most of the class was, like, girls. Like, I'd say 60%. And I was the only girl who didn't make a boy's love comic. <laughs> so I think my teacher was a little surprised by that because, like, I remember during orientation, he would look at me because at an orientation, I was the only girl around that time. And he was like, boy's love comics are okay. And then the whole time, I'm thinking, why does he keep looking at me? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with boy's comics. I just, you know, I'm more into One Piece and, and the shonen stuff. So um, I think when he found out that like, I also like action comics and things. He was um, kind of surprised. Maybe pleasantly surprised, I'm not sure. <laughs> but he's very open-minded, and he said you can make it about anything that you want. Um, nobody in class made things like hentai and stuff. Like, most of it was just, um, you know, there... Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess luckily I didn't have any strange people in class or none that I knew of. Um, were we, you know, did they expect us to draw well? Well, I kind of thought since, like, I was the only one that was, um, not Japanese there, that I would be the only one who's, like, you know, doesn't draw as well, but, um, I was pretty surprised I was, I could hold my own against everyone's skill. There was a lot of people in the class, actually, who have never drawn before. Um, so, I think a lot of people like also take these classes just to see you know just to do a new thing or just to try it out and see how it goes and stuff so um he did focus a little bit on like anatomy and um, how to do certain angles like with people we usually use the angles with like backgrounds like because like I said before they're training us to be comic assistants and comic assistants are the ones that usually do the background so he was training us a lot on how to do backgrounds with buildings from different ang angles more so than the people and um, I think he also stated that uh, it's better that way because for the anatomy that takes a lot of self-study like he can give us pointers and stuff like that and he did give us pointers but for the most part like um, since it was a it was an intensive class so it was only twice a week um, you know we, we were expected to do a lot of things at home and I'd say like the homework was probably about uh three four hours of work at least like on your own like for me like um before we actually before I actually turned in the homework I would practice on a like a couple of spare pieces of paper first and then like you know try and reproduce the same thing as soon as I perfected the te technique which is what was recommended for us like using the g-pens and stuff um so if you guys also asked like if or one of you guys asked if the degree that you earn at this uh, animation school is good in the States. Um, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I would think if you were trying to get into a job with, an, with animation and they saw that on your resume and, I, and you know, the type of animation that you were going to do was kind of like, like anime-esque, I don't see why that would hurt. I, I mean, like, I, you know, I imagine if I was an employer, like, I'd take a good look at that um but you're also competing with people who have degrees higher than associates I assume for that kind of I don't know <laughs> I'm really sorry I'm like not one to ask about that kind of thing I haven't actually used what I learned um at that school yet to get a type of job here um 
basically what I'm trying to do with my own comic is, uh, that's a whole entirely different video to begin with. Um, I'm going to change your diaper. So, next time, say bye-bye. 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 Mana. Mana. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wait a minute.